I'm sorry not to be with you today for pre to present this award in person uh, on the occasion of uh, Wetlands International Rotterdam meeting. Um, sadly, I, I have been unable to travel due to a previous commitment, but I, want, I, am, I just wanted to tell you how important it is for me to be present and thanks to the marvel of technology uh, video, I am able to talk to you now. Um, the awards presented tonight carry the name of my father, Dr. Luke Hoffman, and they are therefore of a special importance to me. They, they pertain to the work of Wetlands International, a work uh, that I consider as very important and uh, an organization of equal importance. Um, my relationship to Wetlands International is very much uh, backed by the, the activity my father had in the past. As you, some of you might remember, he, were, he originated more than 60 years ago the concept of an international conference on wetlands, starting with the Mar Conference in Saint Marie de la Mer in the south of France, which culminated into the international, still the only international treaty for conservation on the, called the Ramsar Convention. Uh, alongside this, we witnessed the development of Wetland International, an organization to which, to, to which I served as a board member um, uh, in the middle 90s for two terms. The distinctive factor of Wetlands International is that its, its work is based on extraordinary good science. Uh, we know there are good reasons for wetlands, and we'll come back to that a bit later, and, we, and, and these good reasons are backed by science. However, if you want to do something about this, we also need to change attitudes. And what better story, what better way of making um, wetlands protected than by celebrating champions whose work have been so important in local areas. Some words on wetlands. Why are wetlands so, impart, so important? In conservation, wetlands are sometimes known as the neglected habitat. Wetlands have an extraordinary function, an important function into water regulation. They have an extraordinary importance into protecting biodiversity. Um, they are rich by nature, but they are also rich by usage. Um, I can give you two examples which are quite close to me. Uh, the, our work in the Mediterranean through the MAVA Foundation, we've been um, for water is the biggest issue in the Mediterranean, Western Mediterranean in particular, highly dependent on flows of water for agriculture and consumption, human consumption. Um, an, an, an efficient working networks of wetland would be um, the best way to deal with this and I think that's why we have involved so much effort into conserving, especially on the northern side of the Mediterranean, areas like the Camargue but also the, the, the Barisma del Guadalquivir and other areas uh, and, and other wetlands of significant importance, all listed by the Ramsar Convention. Now, in terms of biodiversity, I'd like to mention also the example of um, uh, Le Banc d'Arguin in West Africa. Uh, which is clearly one of the biggest breeding ground for fishes, and in particular fishes that will populate the Mediterranean. So there, uh, an existing wetland which has a role into protecting species, fish species uh, as, long, as well as bird species, of course. And this source of protein has a, a financial and very real business impact onto the whole area. So here are two very good reasons for protecting wetlands, one for regulating water systems and one for ensuring access to uh, very, very much needed protein in West Africa. And the reason I'm underlying these two cases is because I think it is very important to remember that wetlands are one of the cheapest possible way of dealing with the overconsumption of natural resources. We are in an, we are in an environment which needs um, to, key, to, to maintain clean water supplies, and these clean water supplies could be, to, as they are today, re-brought to us through quite complex um, technological solutions, when in fact the natural one worked so well before they were damaged. So restoration of wetlands, in particular in the Mediterranean, has become an important part of the work that Fondation Mava, alongside Fondation Tour du Vela, has been, uh, has been doing um, over the last 20 years. One of the reasons why Wetlands is such an important, um, Wetlands International is such an important organization is because of its emphasis into working in partnership. Not only working with local partners, and we're going to recognize some of them tonight, but also uh, working with pe people in industry, in academia, and in, in, the, the, in civil society in the broadest term. This is, I think, the, the, the way forward.
in order to influence people working in this part of the world, and in, in fact, indeed working for wetlands internationally, we need to tell stories. And tonight, we are, we are recognizing four important stories. And I am particularly delighted to see that we had such strong nominations this year. We have uh, four very good nominations this year, and I will read their names. Uh, Mr. Laszlo Muzic, who is um, um, the president of the BirdLife Hungary organization called Komaron Estergom County. Um, uh, Ms. Ikal Angelai, Friends of Lake Turkana, founder and director. Professor Dr. Hans Jostens, um, who from Greinswald University, Secretary General of the International Maya Conservation Group. And Professor Dr. W.J. Wolf, retired professor in marine biology. All four nominees were, of course, extraordinarily good. We are all very inspired by their example and very grateful for their work, but we had to choose and two have been uh, selected as standing out uh, of the group. Um, I will now read the citation in their awards, and I will start by the first one, Professor Wim Wolf. Professor Wim Wolf is awarded the Wetland International Luke Hoffman Medal in the category of scientific research for his life's work to protect and conserve the coastal wetlands of the Netherlands and overseas. His extensive, his extensive scientific research, skilled diplomacy and activism have been enormously influential for the Oosterschelde estuary, Wadden Sea and hugely important wetlands in West Africa like the Bandarga. Professor Wolf has nurtured innumerable young researchers throughout his careers and is still active, giving his time to advise on nature conservation linked to scientific knowledge. We would like to show our appreciation and recognition of this great achievement. The second laureate tonight is Ms. Ms. Ikal Angelei. Um, she's awarded the Wetlands International Luke Hoffman Medal in category of Communication, Education and Public Awareness through her role as Executive Director of Friends of Lake Turkana, FOLT. She has shown the courage, tenacity and natural leadership skill to stand up and represent the interest of hundreds of thousands of local people living around Lake Turkana in Africa's Rift Valley, whose livelihood are threatened by the impending development of a huge hydroelectric dam. She was outraged that local communities were not consulted, founded the group FOLT in 2008 and subsequently convinced the Kenyan government and major banks to think again. Through her work in the Turkana Basin Institute, Ikal has led many projects that help to use traditional knowledge, give voice to community rights and pursue community-based natural resource management solutions. The, the subject of her current PhD study in political ecology and transboundary water is surely one of the most vital to tackle to help sustain wetlands and prevent water, con and prevent water conflicts in the coming years. We are pleased to recognize the exceptional achievement of Ikal Angeli in which her every success. Congratulations. It's been a great pleasure for me to be with you tonight, albeit virtually. Um, congratulations to the winners and I hope to, and I wish to a great success to this evening. Thank you very much and goodbye.